Now remember, they get points just for spotting stuff, finding the nest, finding the... No, you can't. You're fine. Go forward, then. Go forward. Well, at this point, even though the team had a little bit of difficulty getting started, they, they're, they're managing to move around and maneuver in the water. And they're, about this time in, the, in their mission, all they can do is locate stuff. Is that the nest? Okay, but there's no points for the nest. What's in the nest? The egg. Look at the egg. Find the egg. What's this here? What's it say? From the website that I get. Let me know if they locate that. Legendary Atlantis, you know? Well, you'll see it. But I clarified that in the meaning. The pie wasn't the nest. It was the egg. Oh. In the nest. Why? Okay. Find it. Just find the egg. Hey, one's a robot going down, dude. I think it's because we're heavy light on it. I have more prizes. Go find the egg. Prizes. I have more that's questions. That's the that's the nest. Go up. Go well, up. no, yours were good, but I I didn't. No. You go, sir. Well, th th this one this one I don't want to read the answer. Forward. You'll know the answer. Go up, go up, go up, go so up. how are we going to do this? Yeah. Okay, for those that came in the there. audience, I've got a question. You raise your oh, hand, sir. Uh, you raise your hand, and we've no, got a prize. Look, you you're always already yeah. Okay, why is the South Pole colder than the North Pole? You can't really move it. Why it's is the oh, South Pole colder than the North Pole? Just turn it off. We just have off. Watch hands. I gotta read the answer. The other shapes, right? Yeah. yeah. So what else do we need? Um. Oh, I didn't know the answer. I know it now. Though. Go look for more bases. Right there. Right now. I agree. Are you sure that's it? Say again. Well, look for the other ones. What? For the other bases, you know, I'm trying you know that uh, the answer we just heard was because the axis of the Earth, so you know the here, way the uh, tilt is. The right. But if you think, think about it, one at the, uh, alleged, by the time, time it goes around, after one healed. full year, oh, they the both oh, I think have had the same amount of sunlight on them. <laughs> but uh, that was the answer I was thinking of because I was thinking, oh, because of the tilt, you know, it doesn't get as much sun. So that's not the answer, and the answer is I, I didn't know it, and it actually right. will make sense. That, that's that's nobody stuff. knows the answer. Here, go, Take no, a guess. Go to the right. Go to the right more. I think there should be one along the wall. Yeah, there is. If nobody can come up with a better answer, I'll give it to you, because that has this much to do with it. The team, the team has about 15 minutes left in the water. Let's take red shirt. Here, let's Help. change it first. Let's change it quickly. Hey, hey, what's that? Oh, that's a bait. That's a bait. Go, go, go. No, that's a bait. Go. A little bit. Okay. The real answer hey, is... Go, go, um, well, gonna, oh, go higher. Oh, maybe we could... If, if I could yeah, be in there... Oh, go to the... Look for the bait. Just go okay, the bait. if I give like the super okay. clue... Go okay, you have to watch to see who raises their no, hand. Just go for the bait. Okay, the go main go reason the why the ant... Or the South Pole is colder than the North Pole, according to what I just read, but it makes sense to me. So it's the same well, reason that it's colder that? atop Mount Depends. Whitney than it is here in Arizona. Depends, huh? uh, whether you saw it before or whether you see it now. Uh, no? <laughs> who, who raised their hand? Pick what shape hand. is it? It's a circle. Here, go closer. Oh, it's a circle. Where? Circle. That's it. That's it. Okay, the circle. Ice Very good. mass good of the yes. at the South Pole is what two thousand feet above sea level or something like that. It's higher. It's higher. All right. Cool. Either. You gotta come and get it. Very good. Yeah, it's altitude. I mean, it, when you think about it, it's simple. It's way up. The North Pole's right about at sea level. Oh, another bait? The North Pole's like Death Valley, the... The, the keys. The knobs. You made that. It was good. Oh, it's, 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 it's that dude thing. We can't get there, right? The target no. Rate. The snow's been yeah, that's the target rate. Yeah. got snow two miles thick. Here, go to the far right, Adrian. I think there should be another bait, one more bait over there. We got that one. We got the one down there. I'm going to just go over here. No, to the right, to the right. You know, it takes about, it takes about eight hours to fly from 
No, the red. There's going to be a red one around here. Yeah, keep going to the right. Keep going to the right. That's the pull in the hurdle. Ah, slap. I've been yeah. TDY with most of the military organizations, most of the Air Force, the Navy, Coast Guard. I've never worked directly with the Marines, but I did have some work with the Army. Uh, and I got to say that those Navy pilots can really fly. They're, I mean, I know the Air Force has got the Air Force, but those Navy guys are incredible. Okay, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Found it, found it. All right. I'll right. tell stories. I tell you like so, when we went to... Oh, the, oh you have another question? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, go for it. There, see? Oh, there, there. It's kind of a... Uh, the, the guys in the control room want in on this, so Absolutely. next time we're going to have to... <laughs> we're going to have to have a shout-out. We can play. They can't. Sorry. Nice try. So, like, here's the thing. Uh, in 1992, when I went to Antarctica, it's kind of a bit of a sad story, but it also talks about human bravery. Uh, the no, no we went, we flew down and we landed in McMurdo Station no, and there's these body bags in there in the landing area with people that had died and uh, you know the number one reason for people dying on there is because they don't follow the rules. A couple guys have fallen through a, you know the you have, you have to follow the adults instructions. Which one? Ice. Okay. I can't. That's that was how some of them died. Oh. Okay. Well, all right. But this, did I tell you that story before? You said it last year. Yeah, we already got that. So it's all about following instructions and uh, this, but again. What happened was, in McMurdo Station, you have red flags, you have like green flags, and you have yellow flags. And so, basically, you stay on the path of the green flags. You don't go anywhere near the red or the yellow. And about two miles from McMurdo Station, there's a New Zealand base there. And they actually, at McMurdo, this is kind of like another reason why not to drink and, and walk. But <clears throat> between uh, 7 p.m. and 11 p.m., the bars are open at McMurdo, and they're closed. The New Zealanders, they're kind of open all the time. You know, just kind of, you know, be more responsible. Well, three Americans walked on this two-mile road, you know, to New Zealand. They started drinking. And returning to base, they could see, like, man, we have to walk two miles. We can just go right over this hill. There's a Murdo. It's a short distance, like maybe, um, maybe a half an hour versus two miles, you know? So they just start walking. They kind of didn't pay attention to the little red and yellow signs that they were going. There's three of them all of a sudden, on his right and his left, the guys are gone. And um, he's like, whoa. Hey, but why changing colors? He looks right and the to the left and backs up. And it, these guys fell through an ice bridge and they fell 190 feet. One of them died immediately. The other one died 19 hours later and they pulled him out. But the moral story is follow the instructions. And I'm going to tell you a story about the Navy pilots later because right now I want to see what these guys are screaming about something over here. What are you, what's going on over there, Maria? Well, apparently one of the robots was, wasn't was having a camera signal, but they just got their camera signal back and they're on the go. All right. Well, that's good news. Yeah, they're, they're showing everyone que si se puede. Yes, you can. Thank you. I know we can. Yeah, we can! We can't possibly. Tell the story. I, last year you talked about uh, guys that it was like a bay, frozen over bay, and they were supposed to follow the, right. more the land, like a semicircle. frozen iceberg that it, that it, that it, that it, that it No, but this was the... And it fell down. So what happened, there was a frozen ice bridge, all frozen or solid. Oh. And so it's the same story, but basically the, it was an iceberg that, what happens is a temperature changes, this had cracked, started spl splitting open, snow had fallen, so you saw one smooth part of snow right across it like this. And so it's, it's possible to walk across this and made it an ice bridge. When they fell, they fell 190 feet. It kind of falls between two pieces of ice. So you start falling rapidly, but your weight gets you down. You're falling faster and faster. And you basically wedges your body down between the, the frozen icebergs, and they were stuck. So the first guy died because, you know, you fall 190 feet into like a, something that gets smaller and smaller and smaller. The weight of your body basically crushes you 